What's good, Doug Smart here, your go-to guide in the labyrinth of real estate. Today we're peeling back the layers on something that trips up many, the hidden costs of buying a home. And for those sticking around, I've got a bonus tip on how a residential sale leaseback program can be a real game changer. Oi you lot, before Doug gets into the nitty gritty, do us a solid, hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell. You won't want to miss out on these legit insights. Let's crack on, shall we? Whether you're a first time buyer or looking to sell, it's crucial to grasp the financial spectrum of real estate transactions. We're not just skimming the surface today, we're diving deep into those often overlooked costs. From closing costs to the finer points of escrow, we've got it all lined up. Let's kick off with the closing costs. This isn't just a drop in the ocean, my friends. We're talking loan organization fees, prorated property taxes, real estate agent commissions. You're looking at about three to 6% of the sale price here. And remember, there's always a bit of wiggle room for negotiation. But no, no, let's negotiate. Negotiation, you say? That's where the real fun begins, doesn't it? Just remember, it's not just about playing hardball, it's about playing smart. Next up, home appraisal. This is where a pro steps in to determine the fair market value of the property, essential for loan transactions and setting a fair asking price. Costs vary, but think in the ballpark of three to $450. It's all about ensuring the price is right for everyone involved. Moving on to home inspections. Unless you're a pro yourself, this is a step you don't want to skip. A thorough inspection can reveal hidden issues, ensuring the property's condition is up to snuff. The average cost, around $340, but it's a small price for peace of mind. Peace of mind indeed. You don't want to end up buying a posh looking money pit, do you? Always better to be safe than sorry, I say. Loan organization fees are next on our list. This covers the lender's admin costs, processing your application, underwriting, the whole shebang. It's typically 0.5 to 1% of your loan, but hey, if you're buying in cash, you can skip this one. Then there's earnest money. Think of it as a good faith deposit, showing the seller you're serious. Oh, I am so in. It's part of the negotiation dance in real estate, especially in competitive market. It's a commitment and it gets deducted from your final purchase price. Right. It's like putting your money where your mouth is. Show them you're not just all talk. Property taxes can be a bit of a hot potato in negotiation. These are often prorated at closing. If you're buying in October, for instance, you might be covering a few months up front. It's all about who's willing to take on what costs. Homeowner's insurance is a must have, especially if you're getting a loan. It protects your lender's asset, your future home from damage. They'll check everything from the roof to plumbing. It's not just about protection, it's about investment wisdom. And let's be honest, Nobody wants to buy a lemon. Insurance checks can save you from a real headache down the line. If your new home is in a HOA, some fees will be due at closing. These vary, but they're another piece of that financial puzzle. It's another point of negotiation, depending on who's more eager to seal the deal. I need it now. Escrow. It's not just a fancy word, it's a safeguard, holding your funds until all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. It's about legal protection and ensuring everything goes smoothly until you get those keys in hand. Smooth as a good scotch, that's how we like it. Escrow's your financial bouncer, keeping things in order till the big day. Let's not forget about home maintenance and repairs. For sellers, it's about maximizing sale proceeds. For buyers, it's about being ready for those initial investments post-sale. It's all a part of the homeowning journey. And finally, real estate agent commission. Yes, it's a cost, but a worthy one for the experience and guidance we provide. Typically, it's 6% of the sale price split between the buyer and seller agents. A crucial investment for a smooth transaction. Expertise doesn't come for free, but it's worth every penny. A good agent is like a trusty compass in the wild world of real estate. And here's that bonus tip, the residential sale leaseback program. If you're looking to access your home's equity without saying goodbye to it, this could be your ticket. Sell your house, rent it back, and voila, you've got cash in hand and a roof over your head. Well, that sounds like a good idea. All right, that's a wrap on today's deep dive. If you're looking for help to navigate these waters, you can contact me, just text me, email me, send a little carrier pigeon over, whatever, whatever works for you. Until next time, stay savvy in your real estate ventures. And don't forget, for more cheeky insights and top-notch advice, Keep watching and sharing. Doug's got the goods and you know where to find us. Cheers.